How will open borders affect the Australian property market? For the first time in almost two years, we've seen our borders open to international visitors and migration. The government's projecting that we'll see about 180,000 people move to Australia, either on a permanent or a semi-permanent basis. The concern that we're getting from a lot of people and the question that we're fielding at the moment is, is that going to drive property prices even further north? And for us, that's not the most immediate impact for people migrating here. They're moving over from overseas their first step is usually going into the rental market, figuring out where they want to live, settling in here, making sure they want to stay before they jump in and buy a property. So the impact's more likely to be in the rental space. And the last 12 months at least, and probably the last two years, we've seen incredible tight vacancy rates across a lot of the markets, especially in Newcastle. The impact that it's going to have is you're gonna have more people looking to rent. And the flow on from that is that rentals will naturally increase. The price of rent in most markets is going to go up with more people squeezing into those limited stock of properties that we've got out there at the moment. The other impact that we might see is a return of investors to the market. They've predominantly sat out for the last couple of years as prices have risen too quickly for them to calculate and keep up with. But with rentals going up, they're looking at values, they're looking at yields, they're looking at the returns on their investment and they're likely to return to the market again which may have a bit of a flow on into our property prices. So migration is a positive thing that we've got people moving, our population will continue to grow, but it may have some impacts in both the rental space and in the longer term in our property prices. If you've got any questions on this subject or any other information you'd like, please feel free to reach out to me.